what's been the response to the group after a defeat like that, just coming out here? Just coming over here to Perth, what do you sort of need to look to do different to really sort of pretend that fight? Yeah, it was obviously, um, you know, a tough game, you know, for us, and it was a tough learning, um, you know, but for us, like, we focused on the positive glimpses that we showed in our game and the opportunity that it created, and um, on, on the other side of that is that we probably weren't consistent enough throughout the whole game to deliver that for 80 minutes, so um, that was on us as players, um, you know, we took ownership in our own game and making sure that, you know, tomorrow that we go out there and do everything we can to execute the plan that we have put forward. Just looking at the side, uh, getting a fellow front rower back like Angus Bell, what does that just add to the SWAT side in terms of confidence and his ability just to shore up that set piece? Yeah, massive. Um, you know, he's a, he's a big body. Um, you know, we all know the talent that he is and the things that he's done in, in this gold jersey. And um, it's awesome to have him back. Like he's, he's gone through a tough time throughout his rehab, um, but he's trained really hard. He's worked with um, Connor and the team back at Tars um, to give himself this opportunity. And, um, you know, all, all, all the boys are going to be beside him and, and, you know, just make sure that he goes out there tomorrow and most importantly, just enjoys himself. Alan, how do you think you can get parity in the scrum after last week and you're facing a fairly formidable front row this week as well? Yeah, I think for us it's a great challenge, um, you know, and um, it, it was a tough learning for us last weekend. But as I said before, like, we didn't go out there and we, ate and, 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 and we didn't execute the plan that we wanted. And as a front row, we've spoken about that. Like, technically, we need to be better. Um, you know, those are the areas that we've spoken about and making sure that we're going to be better at that tomorrow. Beyond the scrum, is there anything else that you think you can improve? I mean, obviously the breakdown was a really difficult part of the game as well. You're looking to address that as well? Yeah, again, like, I think across the board, like, we weren't good enough at executing our plan consistently throughout the game. Like, we've, there were glimpses where, where we were good, but you can't have one moment and uh, miss, miss, miss a lot throughout the game, especially against the world's best. So, um, again, it was a review that we spoke about throughout the week and making sure that we challenged each other at training. Um, that was a good kick. Um, yeah, and those are the areas that we focused on throughout the whole week. So, just always bringing the focus back on us and um, you know making sure that we're building to where we want to go. I just had a look at the updated forecast. They're saying 15 to 40 mil worth yeah. of rain tomorrow. How different do you think the game's going to be, and how do you adapt? To that? Yeah, I think. Um, yeah, that's something that as leaders and game drivers that we've spoken about throughout the week and like yes, it hasn't been the Perth weather that we all expected throughout the week. So um, we've been training in those conditions and making sure that um, yeah we're smart with you know where we want to play with the ball. I guess the, the bigger bodies of South Africa that's gonna to be tough to deal with in the wet, isn't it? Yeah, for sure. But um, you know, something that the boys are ready for. And you know, some of our boys first time playing them last week understand that feeling and understand where we need to be better. What did you make of the turf out there? Right, it's a turf which has at times in the past been criticised. Um, you know, what did you make of it? Yeah, it's a bit soft underneath. Um, but, you know, it's, I think that's probably due to the weather that it's had. Um, and, yeah, we're, we've spoken about that as, as, as a pack and as a team, just making sure that, uh, you know, you have the right essentials with your boots to make sure that um, you take every opportunity that counts. So, um, yeah. I guess it is what it is. Anything you're worried about with it, or just <coughs> is it just something you've just got to be a bit extra mindful of? Yeah, it's just something that, um, like any field, that you need to come out here, get a feel for it, and then adapt. So, with your boots, what do you change? I don't change anything. Yeah, I wear the longest studs, um, you know, possible. So, I think it's more some of our, our outside backs in that we'll probably have to, um, you know, change some of their studs. Um, but yeah, if, if, everyone's across that. Now, how much improvement can you make in the scrum in a space of a week? And where is the actual issue? Is it a collective eight? Is it front row specific? Where, where's it going to come from? I think for us, it was more, um, you know, in terms of a front row, it's just a technique. Um, you know, like we want to transfer the weight from behind, and um, to do that, you've got to be in the best shape possible. So, um, again, that's areas that we spoke about. It was a tough learning for us in the set piece, but, um, you know, we're looking forward to that challenge tomorrow. Alan, the, uh, the spring marks have made 10 changes. They're starting the side this week. Rassi. Earlier this week, so it wasn't a sign of disrespect towards the Wallabies, but as the playing group, do you maybe feel the Springboks might be under, underestimating you guys a little bit and what you can bring to the table? I think, as a collective as a whole, I think they've still got about 14 World, World Cup winners, so um, yeah, that's a decision that they want to make. Um, for us, like again, the focus goes back on us. Like, we weren't good enough at executing our own plan, uh, we've been deliberate and uh, we've been focusing on that throughout the whole week, understanding that you know when we do deliver our plan, it, it creates us 
you know, opportunity and, and, and it did last week, but we didn't get enough of it. So, um, again, we've taken ownership on that and making sure that we need to be better in that area. What are you expecting from the crowd this week? It was, it seemed like there were a lot of box fans in Brisbane last week. Are you expecting something similar? Yeah. Yeah, I think so, but um, the boys love playing at Optus. Um, we've always got a positive reception here, and I'm hoping that a lot of them can stay dry so they feel comfortable enough to come out. But, um, yeah, the boys love playing out here. It's an awesome stadium, it's an awesome atmosphere, and the boys can't wait to get amongst it. What's, uh, what's Joe like after that loss compared to a win? Um, yeah, I think he's, like, for, for, for us as leaders, like, he, he, he was pretty hard after a loss. Um, sorry, after a win as well, you know. We, we, we knew that we weren't where we needed to be um, early in the year and we kept bringing the focus back on us and, and nothing's really changed on that. Um, you know, instead, um, the outcome didn't go our way and it was, it, was, it was a tough learning that way. You know, so for us, we've, again, the coaching staff has driven the fact that um, brought all the attention back on us and just making sure that we continue to grow in our own game because it does create us opportunity. Um, you know, and hopefully tomorrow we get points off the back of that. So. Um, yeah, he hasn't really changed too much after a win or a loss. He's always, he's always brought the focus back on us. And uh, we know that we're not the finished product at the moment and we're building towards that. And yeah, tomorrow's a step forward in that direction. Alan, what, last are you, couple things, what are you targeting personally to build from last week, not only as prop, but also as the captain? Like, what, what, what are the things you personally reckon you want to improve? Yeah, I think um, like we just want to make sure the boys are confident um, you know, and delivering their own role tomorrow. And, um, you know, we've front-loaded the week in terms of, like, our knowledge and, and, and just making sure that everyone is comfortable in their own role so then we can come out here tomorrow and just be clear in our minds to go out there and execute. And I thought that the leaders have done that really well this week.